Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Prat, are you ready? Moin, an ich bin immens froh, dir heute mitzudeilen, dass das die Episode Nummer 50 ist. Ich schon de Podcast am November 2023 angefangen. An natürlich geht dieser Podcast auch nach weiter. So, was lehrst du haut? Den Titel vom Episode, von der Episode aus The Three Pronouns You Need to Master. Okay, so, let's get started. Do you know what a pronoun is? Well, pronouns are those small but mighty words that replace nouns referring to a person, thing, or even an animal. And in this episode, we are diving deep into the pronouns you need to master in Luxembourgish when talking about objects and animals. So, an, the, and it. In English, you'd simply say it. But in Luxembourgish, the choice of pronoun depends on the gender of the noun. Yes, we, here comes grammar into um, play. Let's break it down together and make sure you know exactly when to use an, the or it and also to recognize these small words in conversations because it's not always easy as we connect the words together when we speak. Okay? Bas du prat? Dann lass. So we will start with the pronoun referring to feminine objects and this is the. Pronounce it the. Okay? Let's imagine that you have a conversation with a colleague and he or she asks you, um hour as Treunion? So at what time is the meeting? Now you can answer by repeating the word Treunion. Treunion as um Zwoawa. So the meeting is at 2 p.m. But in natural spoken Luxembourgish, you won't repeat Treunion. Instead, you would replace it by using the pronoun the for feminine things or feminine nouns. Okay, so you would say instead of Treunion as um Zwoawa, the as um Zwoawa. And more natural, thus um Zwoawa. So do you hear? So we don't say the as um Zwoawa. We would say thus um Zwoawa. Um wie viel Uhr ist Reunion? Sagst um zwei Uhr. Ein Beispiel, ein Beispiel. To say the cat is beautiful is oh, the cat is schön. And how would you say it is beautiful? So you need to replace the cat by the because it is ein cat. It's feminine. Don't the is schön. Das schön in natural spoken Luxembourgish. Wie ist Katz? Das schön. Okay, so this is the Z. And often when it is followed by um, us, which we say das. Mm -hmm. So let's move over to the pronoun referring to masculine objects, masculine nouns. This is N. N. And be careful as this word is ending in N. We have to apply the N rule if required. And sometimes you will just hear a uh, and not N. Okay? So it sounds a uh, when the N is dropped. Let's imagine that you intend to buy the mobile phone of a friend and you ask him or her, Wie viel verkaufst du den Handy? How much do you sell the mobile phone? 
And now he or she may answer by repeating the word den Handy. Ich verkaufe den Handy für 250 Euro. So I sell the mobile phone for 250 Euro. But again, in natural spoken language, you won't repeat den Handy. Instead, you would replace it by using the pronoun un for masculine things. So you would hear... Ich verkaufe ein e für 250 Euro. Now, this was slow spoken Luxembourgish. And then in natural spoken Luxembourgish, you would hear, Ich verkaufe ein e für 250 Euro. So, Ich verkaufe ein e für 250 Euro sounds like this. Ich verkaufe ein e für 250 Euro. Yes, just listen again so that you get used to this spoken Luxembourgish and where we connect words together. Ich verkaufe ne für 250 Euro. Ein Beispiel. How would you say the chocolate is good? Yes, this is the chocolat as good and pronounce it chocolat. Chocolat. The chocolat as good. And then how to say It is good. Yes. Un as good. Un as good because chocolat as mamle, so it's masculine. Then if you don't want to repeat it, you'd say un as good. And in natural spoken Luxembourgish, un as good. Un as good. Okay. Wer is the chocolat? Un as good. Tip top. Now let's move over to the pronoun referring to neuter objects, neuter nouns. This is It. It. <clears throat> Imagine um, you have a conversation with a friend about his or her new flat. So a flat in Luxembourgish is, do you know the word for flat? Yes, this is appartement. And appartement is a neutral noun. This is an appartement or appartement. The flat is appartement. Okay. So where is the flat located in Luxembourg City is? Wo was the appartement dann an der Stadt? Wo was the appartement dann an der Stadt? And uh, he or she may answer by repeating the word appartement. Ma, mein appartement As zu Bonnevage. So my flat is in Bonnevoie. Mein appartement as zu Bonnevage. Again, if you don't want to repeat appartement, you will replace it by using the pronoun at for neuter nouns. So you would say it is in Bonnevoie. At as zu Bonnevage. And again, here in natural spoken Luxembourgish, we won't say at us, we will reduce it to das, das, okay, das zu Bonnevage. It's the same as we saw now for the feminine pronoun the, we won't say the us, das, so it is reduced, yeah. Also, anat Beispiel, um, how would you say the house is quite new? So, the house is a neutral noun, is taus. And taus as ziemlich neu. Okay. Uh, and how would you say it's quite new? Yeah. Das ziemlich neu. Oder das ziemlich neu. Ziemlich means quite. Huh? Das ziemlich neu. Yeah. Good. And we will finish this Episode with the pronoun referring to plural objects, plural nouns, and this is also the, so the same as for feminine pronouns. Imagine that you are uh, in a restaurant and you ask a waiter for the toilets. For example, how would you, how would you ask a waiter, where are the toilets, please? Hopefully you've said, wo sind Toiletten, wann ich gelieft? Hm? Doch, wo sind Toiletten, wann ich gelieft? The waiter could reply by saying, Toilette sind um echte Stock. Toilette sind um echte Stock means the toilets are on the first floor. Again, you can replace Toiletten by using the pronoun the for plural nouns. So you would say, they are on the first floor. Ze zin um eiste stak. Ze zin um eiste stak. So here we don't reduce anything. Ze zin um eiste stak. 
anderes Beispiel. How would you say the clothes are old? Das ist einfach. Die Kleider sind all. Und dann, how would you say they are old? Ja, sie sind all. Sie sind all. Okay. So, as you can see, this is not so difficult to remember these little words, don't un, the, uh, ut. And now you are also aware how to recognize these in a, a natural spoken Luxembourgish. So a native speaker have a conversation and you can speak as well like this to sound more natural. Uh, it is Zeit für ein Übung. So it's time for an exercise. And to practice uh, in the language is üben. Huh? The verb is üben. Good. Now I will uh, say a um, sentence in Luxembourgish and uh, you will have to find the correct Luxem um, the correct pronoun. Was du prat? Good. So. Satz Nummer 1. Wo sind Tellerin? And so, where are the plates? And the answer is, mm -mm -mm, sind am Tische scharf. So, they are in the cupboard. Hopefully, you've said, sie sind am Tische scharf. Because Tellerin is a plural, huh? plates. And then you will replace them by the, Dong, sie sind am Tische scharf. Wo sind Tellerin? Na ja, sie sind am Kische scharf. Satz Nummer zwei. Hast du mein Brüll gesehen? Nee, es schon mm -mm, nicht gesehen. So would you say, es schon et nicht gesehen, es schon en nicht gesehen, oder es schon se nicht gesehen? Now you need to know the gender of brill, of course. So brill are glasses, and in Luxembourg, be careful, it's a masculine singular noun. So a brill, de brill. So I hope you, that your answer was nee, a schon en net gesin. So en is the correct pronoun. And now listen how we would connect the words here. You would hear, nee, a schunen net gesin. Okay, a schunen net gesin. So you will hear hunen and you will think, oh, what is this for a new word? I have never heard it. But this is the connected, the, we connect the two words, hun and un. And this sounds like this, nee, a schunen net gesin. Okay, so this is very important to recognize this in conversations. So, Satz Nummer drei. Wie viel kost t'lucht? Mm -mm -mm, kost 99 Euro. So t'lucht means the lamp. T'lucht. And this is a feminine noun. So it is. The kost 99 Euro. The kost 99 Euro. Wie viel kost t'lucht? Ma ja, the kost 99 Euro. Lasten Satz. Ist das ein Neid hier? Ja, es ist schon mm -mm, an der Vakanz kauft. So, also, ja, es ist schon ein an der Vakanz kauft, es ist schon et an der Vakanz kauft, es ist schon se an der Vakanz kauft. What is the gender of hier? Ja, ein hier oder tier is a neutral noun. And you can hear this already, as that a night here, okay? And then you would have said, ja, es schon et an der Vakanz kauft. So use et for neutral nouns. And again, here we will connect es schon et. You will hear it like this. Es schon et, es schon et, hundert, okay, hundert. Es schon et an der Vakanz kauft. I have bought it uh, on vacation. Is that a night here? Ja, a schönet an der Vakanz kauft. So, that wäre it für das Episode an wei immer lauschter, äh, uh, nach emol oder sogar zwei Mal nach einem das Episode für wirklich alles zu verstehen, wann wir uh, normal mit den Schwätzen. Okay? So, now, 
you are ready to start mastering the nuances of Luxembourgish pronouns and also how the Luxembourgish uh, sound in, Lux in natural spoken language and practice a little bit. Don't be afraid to dive deeper into the language with us and trust us. When you know the basics, everything else won't be too hard. And start your Luxembourgish learning journey today and master in just eight weeks the basics of the language with our self-study online course A1 Foundation. And of course, I will talk about the, these pronouns you have seen um, today in this course and you have also exercises to practice this. You will find the link in the show notes. Merci fürs Nolauchtern und euch so ein bis nächste Woche. Adieu.